Hi, it's me, Clem. I'm doing this video as a reply to Clyde Sight's Silly Silly Tape Recorder 3 Reverse Speech. This stereo has a tape deck that I've modified. It's an auto reverse deck, but the tape head no longer flips round as I've disabled the mechanism. Now you may be able to notice that there are actually two heads here. There's this one on the left, if I can just show you that without my finger getting in the way. That's the array set that erases a recording so a new one can be made. And the head on the left is the actual recording and playback head. This is the head closer up. The dark area on it with what looks like a plus symbol inside it, that's the, that's the actual part that records and plays back. And as you can see, it's off center and only half the width of the tape and that makes it possible for the head to record and play back either on this half of the tape or this half of the tape. So on the lower half of the tape you have one recording which I'll call side A and on the upper half of the tape you have the other recording which I'll call side B. Now normally on a non-reverse tape deck when the tape comes to the end or you don't want to hear that side anymore you just take the tape out and flip it and you do it that way but in an auto reverse deck you can just press a button and you hear the other side now what actually happens is instead of flipping the tape round the actual head itself flips it would also help if I tried turning it in the right direction and then the direction of the tape is reversed and you hear the other side as you can see in here, there are two capstans and pinch rollers. Now they pull the tape past the heads, regulate the tape speed to minimise well and flutter, and turn in opposite directions. This one on the right engages for forward playback, and this one on the left is for reverse. Now the corresponding spindle spins to take up the tape so it doesn't get all tangled up in the machine. Now, if the tape direction didn't reverse when playing the other side, you would actually hear the sound backwards. It's a little complicated, so I'll try to explain this as simply as I can. Now, going back to our tape, I'll tell you that side B is backwards relative to side A, and side A is backwards relative to side B. Now, when you play one of these in an ordinary tape recorder, that doesn't reverse, when you flip the tape over you're naturally reversing the direction of the tape so there's no reverse mechanism necessary. Now this cassette deck here is a professional cassette deck. It has three heads, it's got a separate arrays, record and playback head. And the curious thing about this is that it also has two capstans and pinch rollers. I don't know why but they both engage when the tape is recording or playing and they both turn in the, t in the same direction. And uh, I'll just show you the heads. We have the arrays head and then the record head and there's the playback head. And the separate recording and playback heads are to improve the sound quality. Now, if anybody can tell me why this thing actually has two capstans and pin trollers, even though it's not an auto reverse, uh, you know, please comment on that. But anyway, I'm digressing here, so we'll go back to this. Now, with the modifications I've made to this, I can actually play tapes backwards. So, let's do some experiments. Okay, let's see what music sounds like now. I'll just put this tape in here and let's hear it. Obviously, as you can hear, it's playing forward at the moment. Now let's play it backwards. Sounds pretty crazy, doesn't it? Anyway, let's do another experiment. Now I'm going to record my voice on this and I'm going to use 
As I don't have a microphone for this, I'm going to use this tape recorder as a microphone. You may have seen this in one of my other videos. So, I'll connect the earphone out to the line in. We'll select aux. And I'll fall this into thinking that there is a tape in there that doesn't have a broken up, broken off record tab. You can see in there there's a little lever, so I'll just push that in. Can you see that in there? I'll just push that in and press record. And we're getting a lot of feedback. So, um shows you the signal is coming through. Now let's do a recording, shall we? On this, it's a good recorder, it's, D, it's AC bias, so we'll get a good record quality without something that sounds like a volcanic eruption in the background. Let's record and press play. Okay, testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Now, let's hear what that sounds like backwards. And all, yes, that's something I recorded earlier. Yes, you snog me, it's just 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 me. Okay, now I've played that recording quite a few times backwards, and it sounds like I say, Earth would no, near set, near set. So. I'm going to say that into this again and play that backwards and let's see what we get. Earth would no nit set nit set. Earth would no nit set nit set. Okay, now let's play that. Well, it's not quite right, but uh, Earth would no nit set nit set. Earth would no nit set nit set. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Well, I was almost right, but anyway, uh, that about wraps it up, so until next time, goodbye. And hello from me. I have a modified reverse stay stay. And you understand me probably not so I'm going